can't record in the courthouse. Is that a law? No, it's the judge's order. And the judge just told me on body camera, she wants you removed. She, okay? I need to be removed from the courthouse? Yes. So you have two options. Yep. You may leave. You're free to go. Or we arrest you for interference. I'm sorry? Have you ever been in our commission chamber? Is no, never been there. Would you be interested in seeing? Yeah, yeah. Where, where is um, it? It's right here. I'll give you keys. Sure. Thank you. I assistant to the county administrator. Thank there. you so much. I appreciate it, Robin. No problem. You've been great. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. What's up guys, Long Island Ordered here, back again with another video. I'm sure by now most of you have seen my latest video from the Judicial Center in Lawrence, Kansas. If you haven't, I will link it in the description below. Today's video was taken earlier in the day at the old courthouse, which is now the Douglas County Building. I wanted to share this video with all of you to highlight the stark contrast between the two audits, one full of tyranny and the other freedom. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so we're just getting inside the Douglas County Courthouse here. This is not just a courthouse. I believe it has other government agencies in it, like the treasurer, etc. So this is interesting. 1976 American Revolution. Really cool. bell has been purchased by the citizens of Douglas County to commemorate the 200th anniversary of the Declaration of Independence. Very cool. See? I never came to Douglas County here in Kansas. I would never have seen part of history like that. Anyway, let's take a look around. But like I said, they have the county treasurer's office here. Let's go upstairs, check it out. Absolutely beautiful building. The architecture, inside and out, absolutely beautiful. Hey, how are you? Yeah, thanks. So we have the office of the county commission, county administrator. Hi, how are you, man? Good, how are you? Doing well. You? I'm okay, thank you very much. Are you just looking around? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Communications and capital projects. Up there. Register of deeds. Have you ever been in our commission chamber? I'm sorry? Have you ever been in our commission chamber? Is no, never been there. Would you be interested in seeing? Yeah, yeah where, where is it? Um, it's right here. I'll give you keys. Sure, thank you. I appreciate that. Are you just visiting? Yeah, I'm just visiting. You know, um, I'm an independent journalist. I, I saw this building. I thought it was beautiful. It is a beautiful building. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. Uh, this room is where we have our commission meetings every week. And many years ago, it was a courtroom. A courtroom. And so um, we have, like, the high school comes over and has their class in here and they do a scene from To Kill the Mockingbird in oh, this room every year. Really? Because oh, that's so awesome. Because it's so authentic looking. Yes. And so, wow. so much of this room is still original and I'll flip on the lights. Yeah. They're over here. And, uh, wow. This lady's amazing. I appreciate her hospitality. See, she's signing a good light on her county here. Oh, okay, gotcha. No, beautiful. I saw from the outside. Wow. Yeah. You said mostly everything is original? It looks that way. A lot of it is original. The stained mm -hmm. glass is still original. The benches are original. Um, all of this woodwork is still original. And I believe the doorways. Um, I believe this is still the original judge's table. But this railing around here has been, uh, it, it was made to look. You know, yeah. Um, so now this is where you do the county commission. County commission meetings. Mm -hmm. And so we have government meetings in here every week. Um, we're back in here. We had a bunch of water damage here. Oh, we're back in that's unfortunate. November, mm -hmm. end of October, November, um, pipe broke up in the attic and it came down and did all the damage. So 
we have some temporary audio and visual equipment set up. We're still in the process of getting new equipment in. And, but anyway, so the, the, the benches above. Yeah, that's that interesting. When I first, around. that's the first thing that caught my eye when I, I'm yes. like, what, what's and, that up there? Well, <laughs> it, it, you know, Lawrence was a very liberal city. Uh -huh. Douglas County was a very liberal county. There are some people that say maybe it was a segregated area. Um, Other people say that it was an overflow area. Okay. Maybe for, you know, because it was such a progressive city that it may not may have, not have been segregated. This gotcha. Is, um, we hope it was yeah, an overflow hope. area. Yeah, we hope. That's good. I'll have to do some research. <laughs> and so, um, anyway, it's just a beautiful room. Of course, the chandeliers are not original. They're just kind of made to look. You know. Kind of from that time period. Yes, but it's still such a great room. And so probably about 20 years ago, they were getting ready to redo the carpets in here, and they ripped up the carpet and found the original floor. Oh, wow. So then they redid That's the awesome. When the, the, I never understood it. You know, you see it on those, like, home flipping shows or, you know, things like that, where they rip up the carpet to put new one, and they find this beautiful hardwood floor underneath. It's like, why did the person put carpet over the beautiful hardwood floor? Because they probably didn't want to spend the time on to, well, to restore it, right? And 80s, carpet was yeah, carpet was, was what. The thing. Yeah, so carpet I, was the thing. Like this, this here, this elevated, that's not original. They okay. That up for the commissioners, but we just recently went to a five commission board instead of three that was voted in in the election in November. Oh, and so you so have to. We have to remodel this room because we have to make it room. So for normally, five. the normally before this election was it or it was like a change in it's a change it, the people voted and yeah they want five commissioners five commissioners that have three we redid our district maps and so those had to be approved by january 1 because they had to go into the state and so then they will hold an election in the next general election to choose two new commissioners okay so is the there like people, a is there like a um like a chairman or something like right we have a chair right. and so right now okay. that is shannon reed but um we change in january so our, our second wednesday in january is when they will vote on who will be the commission the, the we need to add one more spot over here and we'll <laughs> the, the, new, the new commissioners won't come in for a while because there okay. has to be a vote in an election and okay so that'll be a while but we will have to remodel this room to fit five people yeah and so it's just very interesting many years ago i love how they kept it like a courtroom because it it, 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 feels, it it feels like a courtroom just a cool, <laughs> it's just so cool we're yeah. so fortunate to have such an awesome building. Beautiful. And if you look up, you will see that all that detail up there was done by hand. Yeah. You know, it's like hand cut. Yeah. And so they, they painted it different colors so you can tell the texture and the difference. And, and then back in that back room where we just had storage and our equipment right now that runs our meetings, that used to be a judge's chamber. And that's been changed a little bit. There were doors on the side. And anyway, so I just so thought cool. since you were here. No, so cool. I really appreciate it. That's I, I love the, you know, I want to figure out what exactly that was for. Either way, you know, it's part of our history. Right. You know, we, we, right. we, 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 we've, you know, we've moved on from the, you can't change it. From it right? Exactly, you can. So. I'm a big believer in that. You know, my one of my favorite quotes of all time is, you know, if, you're, if you don't learn from history, you're doomed to repeat it. So... And that you could apply that to anything, relationships, true, you know, true. jobs, anything. Very you don't true. learn from it, you're gonna it's gonna repeat itself. So Very true. you know, economics, politics. So while you're here, so you might cool. want to check out our rotunda too. Yeah. Because that beautiful stained glass. Yes, right there. beautiful. And on a, in the summer, Downstairs I saw the um there was a bell. Yes. Is that from the American Revolution? You'll have to read about that one because I okay. don't know. <laughs> I saw something that said American it. Revolution. And I don't know a lot about that one. When they had that water yeah. leak, yeah, yeah, I can see do, that. We got to do repairs in here. It's yeah, just lucky that wow, it's beautiful. The ceiling did not. I'm from Long there. Island. I'm from Long Island, New York, and I'm, I'm visiting, and uh, we have nothing like historical like this, at least to my knowledge. No, nothing, nothing really old, and everything's pretty much you know new. And I love seeing these historic historical well, buildings. A time back in like the '70s, where people didn't want to spend the money to restore their courthouses like this yeah and we'll see like those they're kind of metal cross between kind of a morton building okay type of building yeah that they and it's like oh my god they tore down that beautiful now we are we are in the process of having to do a bunch of restoration it's that time i mean it's over 100 years old and we yeah. do we're starting on the outside we've had some water issues mm -hmm. they're having to do a bunch of that then they'll have to start it's expensive um, it's expensive yeah but we 
we are different at Douglas County. We put money back and try to pay cash for everything as opposed to taking out bonds and paying a bunch of interest. Yeah. And so that's just kind of the Douglas County way. They try to save the money and pay. Okay. As opposed to, you know, interest yeah. payments. Yeah, you know, they try exactly. They have to do that kind of thing. And so they've been saving up millions to put towards, you know, that restoration. Yeah. And then we're getting ready to re, they just redid the clerk's office right below us. Mm -hmm. You kind of see where they're, that was still boarded up and they're just yeah, I see that. all that. Okay, mm -hmm. so the building's not getting any bigger. So we have to find a way to fit more people yeah. <laughs> into the building. And mm -hmm. so we're having to modernize a little bit without, it's a historical building. So there's only so many, we can't take out walls. Yeah. At least not ones that were original we can open doorways and different things to okay to put more people in but we can't there's some things they can't do so um, it looks really nice down there but you know that's kind of the first area that they've done yeah they're gonna have to kind of do it all over to yeah fit more of us in so but this room you know they're gonna try to keep as original yeah beautiful as possible you can see that ceiling fell over there too it's it's a beautiful room. oh yeah it's more beautiful we didn't have the water damage yeah so, i can understand that that's that's it's very interesting Imagine just, I just get the vibes of just being in, you know, somebody's, and, you know, somebody's having a court date and <laughs> they're well, sitting yeah, here. I will say once in a great while, yeah. when the courts over there are booked up and they need to overflow, we will get a few things in here. Like they'll do a jury selection and here oh, wow. and they'll do like some traffic court, but we don't have the security in this building yeah. that they have over there. Yeah. And so that's why we don't have a lot of. And the, the actual court, because when you, when you look outside, this is. I, it's labeled as the the Douglas the, County Courthouse. This is the courthouse. A lot of people call that the courthouse over there because they go to court. Yeah. That's the judicial law, okay. judicial and law enforcement building. Okay. But you'll and that's across the street. The, it's not across. Oh, it's. Across our yard. I think I saw it. Yes, of course yes, the yard. Kind of I saw the it. Yard. It's on law enforcement center said on it, right? Yeah. Okay. It's judicial and law enforcement okay. center. Okay. And so that's right. That's that building right there. And so that and they're having to remodel that too to add. We have a new judge. Oh, okay. And so we got to build another courtroom, and we got to expand it because we have a lot of court cases. But um, unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately. But anyway, I'm glad you got to see her. Thank you so much. What was your name? My name is Sean. Sean. My name is Robin. And Robin. I'm, here, I am an assistant to the county administrator. Thank so. you so much. I appreciate it, Robin. No problem. You've been great. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Yeah, but the rotunda. Not, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just not as bright today. I'm so happy I got to check out that room. It's very nice. Sometimes we have art. You know, we help artists. We don't have any right now, so we'll get a lot of overflow. People come up and check out the art. With all the restoration problems and the water, we don't have anything out right now. But very cool. Well, thank you so said assistant to the county administrator, right? Yeah, I'm an assistant to the county administrator. Yeah, I'm an assistant to the assistant to the county administrator. Yeah, Secretary of the County Administrator. So, yes. Okay, gotcha. So, anyway, thank well, you. Well, you did your county, you know, you, you know, you really shined a good light for your county no, here today, you and I appreciate that. Yeah, I would, I would too if I had, it, if I was working here. Okay. That is on our third floor. Okay. Um, there's some places that are more like offices. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know who's up there. But anyway. All right. Thank you so out. much, Robin. I appreciate it. Have a great day. Thank you. Wow, guys. So we had a nice little tour. That is how I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for the day that one of our public servants acts in a way that shines such a positive light on their county, municipality, you know, town, city, whatever it may be. Robin was great, you know, was completely great. Instead of being hostile and saying, why are you recording? What is this for? She said, hey, you're taking a look around. I see you're recording. Why don't you come take a look at our beautiful courtroom? This is a beautiful historical building, obviously. Wow, just amazing. All right, guys, I want to give a big shout out to Robin, the executive assistant to the county administrator. While it is important and vital to expose tyranny like what we saw in my latest video at the Judicial Center, it is also just as important to share audits where our public servants not only recognize our rights, but treat us with respect and go above and beyond to set a good example for their municipality. 
I truly appreciate Robin and the tour she gave me. Let me know what you think about this one in the comment section below. As always, stay safe. God bless. I'll see you in the next video. Long Island on it. Peace.